What's up guys? Welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey. And if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review? Today we're looking at the Lafroy Quarter Cask. Stick around. All right, so we're looking at a Lafroy today. We've got the Quarter Cask with us. Uh, the Quarter Cask and their 10 year old are both huge whiskeys, not just in terms of flavor, but also in terms of sales. Uh, both of them are considered basically required reading for anyone who's trying to get into peated whiskeys or Isla whiskeys. Uh, I'll start off by saying that I've been pretty straightforward in the past about my feelings towards Lafroy. Uh, the brand is a favorite to many people, but not to me. Uh, I find their whiskeys extremely hit or miss. I'm a big fan of the 10 year old cast strength. I like the lore, but the majority of their whiskeys I find to be just okay. I think a lot of them do have really nice flavors, but I sometimes find that the peat goes flat, especially if you've got a bottle that's been open for any significant amount of time, uh, it does happen. I also think a lot of their flavors are delicious, but also on the simpler side of things. Uh, again, just my opinion. Then again, Lafroy has been known to surprise me from time to time, so I do go into these things with an open mind. Um, the last time I had a quarter cask was, I don't know, years ago. Uh, it's something I've had a lot of in my time, but just not recently. Uh, this expression has been aged for about five years, finished in quarter casks, which are going to be smaller barrels, going to give us more interaction between the whiskey and the wood. Personally speaking, I've always been okay with this one. Uh, it's never been a favorite, but I thought it was decent. Um, I had a friend who used to buy bottles and bottles of this stuff back in the day. Uh, I had a few bottles myself and yeah, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was anything special. And honestly, this is a whiskey I always wanted to like more than I actually did. Um, it's very affordable. It's heavily peated. Uh, I happen to love affordable and heavily peated. On paper, it's got a lot going for it. So let's see where things are at now. Why don't we hop into our review, see what our whiskey is all about. And in the meantime, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be greatly appreciated. So Lafroy usually gives us a decent ABV of 48%. That's what we've got here. Um, unfortunately, our whiskey is going to be colored, uh, but it is non-chill filtered. So we're looking at two out of three here. So we can't make out the color of our whiskey, but we've got the classic Lafroy presentation here. We have our standard issue uh, tinted green bottle, our standard issue white uh, label, white and green color scheme. It's all there. It's a classic. It's the Lafroy look. I don't think it's stylish. I don't think it's ugly. It's just kind of there. I feel pretty neutral towards it. Um, time tested, sure, but I think there's room to spruce it up a little bit. Presentation score is going to be two out of five. Of course, we're not going to mention that we're colored. Uh, we do have a little blurb on the back where it talks about being unchill filtered, which is great. Uh, it also talks a bit about the maturation process, talks about using smaller casts, more wood interaction, uh, which is fine. Perfect marriage of peat and oak. Sounds nice. Um, yeah, overall, I don't love the look, but yeah, it's fine. Let's try our nose. Classic Lafroy nose. Peat, brine, uh, lemon, some caramel, some medicinal notes. Uh, we have some asphalt, some coal, some oak in here. Um, there's a little bit of black pepper. Even a little bit of uh, peanut butter in here. So far, so good. Now our palette. Hmm. All right. Uh, spicy arrival. There's some heat in here, but nothing too young. Um, peat, salt, honey, some Sichuan chili pepper, um, you know, band-aids, medicine, first aid kit. Uh, we have some star anise in here and some caramel. It's good. Now the finish. Okay, so gets a little bit fruitier here. Um, you could almost convince me there's a touch of sherry in here. Um, there isn't, probably. Uh, I'm getting toffee, fruit punch. Uh, there's like nibs, cherry, licorice candy. Bit of chocolate in here, uh, some cough syrup, some oak, and some ash. Short to medium finish. 
So I'll be honest, I went into this bottle not expecting too much. As I mentioned earlier, this has never been a favorite whiskey of mine. Um, of course, it's not going to be a favorite now, but the question is, do I feel any differently about it? And yeah, I do actually. Uh, this is not the same old, same old quarter cask I remember. I don't know if it's me or the bottle, but something's changed. Honestly, I'm not too sure that there's a big difference in flavor, so the change could be on my end, but I don't know, I also feel like the older versions were a little bit flatter, maybe a little bit simpler. Um, now this is still a relatively simple whiskey, but it's not supposed to be anything challenging or complex. This is just a peat bomb, and it's a good one. It's a belter, it's a scrapper, it's an Isla heavy hitter, it's here to punch you in the face, and it works. We have that big medicinal Lafroigi peat, uh, it's a bit unforgiving, it's Isla through and through, so yeah, I totally like this stuff. Um, I don't think it's a great whiskey, but I do think it's really solid. The peat here isn't as flat as I remember, my bottle's almost finished, and we still have some vibrancy to those flavors. Um, the flavors are big and rugged, it's an unpretty whiskey, but it is balanced, and yeah, it's just a more dynamic whiskey than I remember it being. Compared to the regular 10 year old, which comes in at 40%, uh, for me it's a no brainer. I like this one more. Uh, where I live, the two bottles are going to be pretty similarly priced, maybe, you know, give or take a few dollars, pounds. And, you know, I'm usually an age statement guy, especially when it comes to Isla whiskeys, but I guess just that higher ABV and those heftier flavors give this one the edge. And you know, I even had the PX cask a few months back. Uh, I didn't really enjoy that one. That one was about double the price of this one. The peat in there went flat pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, this one's better. Uh, I like this one. I think it was too harsh on it back in the day. You know, people change, things change. It's nothing epic, but it is a solid entry level whiskey and it's a great introduction to Lefroy's flavors. So where my old score might've been somewhere around like 83 or so, I'm gonna give this one a very respectable 85. Uh, it's simple, but it's big. And honestly, it gives you exactly what you're signing up for. Of course, there are going to be better peated whiskeys or Isla whiskeys out there, but this one definitely stands its ground. And you know, Lafroig is such a distinctive character. I think this is a very good, unpretentious representation of what they do. Uh, personally, I might prefer stuff like Le J10, which is similar in price. Uh, I might move up in price, get a Kilhoman, get a Port Charlotte. But within its price range, I don't think there's a lot of good peated whiskeys that hit quite as hard as this one. So yeah, I don't think I need to carry on too much about this one. You guys know what it is. Um, it's quintessential Lafroig. It's a simple, straightforward belter. I think if you're looking for a ballsy entry level Isla, go for this one. Uh, it's nothing brilliant, but it's loads of fun. Now I talked earlier about how affordable this one is. I think this is a good whiskey at a good price, so no issue with value here. Um, as I mentioned, not a lot of peated whiskeys give you the same level of intensity or punchiness as this one. So worth the money. And actually where I live, I think this is one of the cheapest Isla single malts you can get just at all. Uh, so definitely one that's not going to break the bank. Again, I think it's lots of fun. So yeah, I'm glad I came back to this one. Uh, I think it's a good quality PD Blast on a budget. Okay, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a patron. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. Now, I do want to hear from you. Have you tried our Lafroy Quarter Cask? I imagine you have. What are your thoughts on it? Leave them down below. Also, let me know what you want to see me review next. I'll keep it in mind for my upcoming videos. Bye, guys.